Greetings, my brothers. This is Sean Blazington, and today I present to you the Khloe Kardashian love story. love story. I have proof and documentations that black love is still alive. Right on. Although many of our brothers don't want anything to do with the melanated queen, with these facts and documentations that I have, I will prove to you that black love will live for many of generations. Forever. First of all, I want all of you to put your hands together for the beautiful, lovely, talented Miss Khloe Kardashian because she is the reason why Afro-American relationships are still lasting today. For sure. She put her foot down and decided that she's going to date brothers exclusively and there ain't nobody with a body like Khloe. And I have proof of this, pay attention. It says here in my documentations that Khloe Kardashian went to Dr. Miami and told him that she wants a body that will please a strong black man. And that's exactly what he gave her. You see, sometimes you gotta put a wig on a pig to get a gig. And that's exactly what she did. Miss Piggy. This is a representation of the double helix of the preference of men of color. And this is also why beauty supply stores are dominating the ghettos and the suburbs. Everywhere. Long hair and a fat ass can get you further than any college degree. And the majority of females realize this. Facts. If Khloe Kardashian did not purchase her body and that long beautiful weave, she would be dating someone like Welvin the Great. But since her body is so great, she can go out there and get any top NBA player. This is all facts. Lamar Odom, Crackhead. he wanted Kim Kardashian at first, but he had to settle for her big, big sister. And he was very disappointed at first until she went to Dr. Miami and got those enhancements. Yeah. He was happy for a little while, but eventually he took a good look at her and he started to notice I'm engaged to OJ Simpson's daughter. Killer. Therefore, she wasn't good enough because she was black. And that's when he started smoking heavy. He started smoking pounds, pounds and pounds. pounds of that green stuff. He thought he was with a white girl. Then he found out she was black. And that's when he started smoking pounds, pounds and, and pounds. pounds of that yellow stuff. He idolized his teammate Kobe Bryant. And he wanted a wife just like Vanessa Bryant. He was caught up in a dirty game. The Kardashian family brainwashed him. And when he found out what was going on, it was way too late. And that's why I always say, don't go chasing waterfalls, my brothers. Stick to those fine, thick, melanated, chocolate, big booty sisters like you're used to. Yes. They are not your enemy. Did any of you guys go out there and see that movie Get Out? Yep. That was all about Lamar Odom, Christian Thompson, and all of the other men that the Kardashian sisters ever dated. I have proof of this in my documentations. Just look at Kanye West. Shame. He went from I to light to white all day not saying that it's not right but the standards of beauty is affecting our communities now let's get back to Khloe Kardashian she knew that as a black woman the only way she can really attract the type of men that she want is if she perpetrates as if she's a white woman but we all know that OJ Simpson is her real father Facts. ladies and gentlemen Christian Thompson is the dumbest basketball player in NBA history. Idiot. As soon after he won his first NBA championship, he went out there and started dating a Kardashian. Dummy. And just like in the movie Get Out, Chloe introduced him to her family and he hasn't been the same since. Christian Thompson is not Christian Thompson. He is now Louis Anderson living inside of Christian's body. If you saw the movie, you saw exactly how they do it. They take apart your skull and inject another person's brain into your brain and you are that person although you are yourself. My documentations do not lie. Hollywood doesn't make movies like this just to make them. These things are actual facts. Kanye West is not Kanye West anymore. Nope. Kanye West is Pee Wee Herman now. Although he looks like Kanye West they injected Pee Wee Herman's brain into Kanye West, and that's who he is. Facts. Lamar Odom isn't Lamar Odom. I can go down the list. This shit is real. If you're going to date someone, 
date them because you love them, not because of their background or ethnic group or their skin tone. But I have to hand it to Khloe Kardashian. She is keeping black love alive. If it wasn't for her, there wouldn't be any more Afro-American relationships because she's the pinnacle. She's keeping that shit afloat. And I commend her for that. Women of color are getting a bad rap. And this is pathetic. They are very beautiful and they deserve to be respected, loved, and cherished. But every athlete, every rapper, every successful Afro-American man acts as if they can't deal with a Afrocentric female. That's why all the fakeness is running amok. I blame people like Christian Thompson, Kobe Bryant, and all of these other rich and successful brothers that got...